Wow, thank you. So I have a confession to make. Um, like a lot of journalists, when Julian first arrived in the scene, I didn't like him. Um, among other things, he had cool hair, he was skinny, uh, he even did Fashion Week here in London, I think, uh, at one point. Uh, and among other things, he was breaking all these huge stories. And really, just to get down to it, I, I was jealous. Uh, I'm going to in a minute. Um, we're in London, so I might as well quote Shakespeare, you know, beware of the green on, uh, like monster who doth mock the meat it feeds on, and all that. We journalists were jealous of Julian Assange, and I didn't have a good reason for being jealous of him, so I invented one. And the reason I invented was, I didn't like the idea of radical transparency. I thought, this is irresponsible, how can you just dump all these secrets on people? They have to be filtered out by responsible people. And I thought, I thought of myself as a free thinker at the time. And I was so brainwashed that I forgot, as a lot of people forget, that secrets do not belong to governments. Secrets don't belong to governments. Information, all this information, belongs to us. Governments govern at the consent of the governed. If they want to keep secrets, they have to do it with our permission. Yes! They must serve us! Now, I'm an American. There's a lot of, I know there's some Americans here. There are a lot, uh, obviously a lot of people from the UK here. We have a lot of secrets right now. Yes. Why is that? We're, we're building skyscrapers and huge underground complexes because we don't have a place to keep all of it. Why is that? And Julian answered that question. I want to quote from an essay, essay he wrote. He wrote, authoritarian regimes give rise to forces which oppose them by pushing against the individual and collective will to freedom, truth, and self-realization. Plans which assist authoritarian rule, once discovered, induce resistance. Hence, these plans are concealed by successful authoritarian powers. Now, to translate that in a brief way, the worse the government is, the more secrets there are. And we have a lot of secrets now. Now, Julian Assange, there's a brutal irony about this. He, he became famous at a time when, particularly America, but mo a lot of the Western governments were building a vast secret state to deal with what they call the threat of foreign terrorism. They built a complex of secret prisons, programs of extraordinary rendition, um, all the terrible things that we learned about in part because of, uh, in large part because of WikiLeaks. Today, well, the awful thing about what's happening with Julian Assange is that governments are openly being repressive. They openly want to put this man in jail for 175 years. Now why are they doing that? Most of the charges have to do with the Espionage Act. What is the Espionage Act? Well, it contains offenses like conspiracy to obtain national defense information. What is national defense information? Well, as it happens, when I asked about this, it's basically anything they say it is. So, what is conspiracy to obtain national defense information? There's another word for that, too. It's journalism. They want to put him in jail for 175 years for practicing journalism. If this were Andre Sakharov or Nelson Mandela, every human rights organization in the world would be appalled at this. Yes. They would call this the worst human rights offense of our generation. But because the West is doing this, we get silence from our media. That is inexcusable. Yeah. Last thing I'll say is, if you're okay with this happening to Julian Assange, you better be okay with it happening to a whole lot of other people, because that's going to be uh, the reality in about 10 minutes. Um, if they get away with doing this, that's why it's so important to rally now to prevent this ha from happening. Whether preventing his extradition, preventing his imprisonment in the United States, once they get away with this, 
the floodgates will be open, and this will become a co common occurrence. There will be no more speeches in parks. It will just be something that happens every day, and people won't even notice anymore. If we want to prevent that from happening, we have to act now. Do not let this happen for each Julian Assange. Thank you very much.